Hi everyone, my name is Joanna and I am a student intern with the Los Alamos STEAM Lab this semester. Today I'm going to be showing you how to extract DNA from a pumpkin. The first thing that you'll need is some pumpkin. You can either use fresh pumpkin, canned pumpkin, or even recycle that jack-o-lantern that you may have carved in the last few days. You'll also need a blender or a food processor, some water, some salt, some measuring devices, some spoons to stir things with, some dish soap, three clean glasses, uh, you want them to be clear, but they can be plastic or glass. I'm using jars today. Um, some cheesecloth. You can also use a coffee filter or any other straining device. Some toothpicks and some isopropyl alcohol. For the alcohol, you want to get the highest percentage that you can. Uh, I'll be using 99% today. And it works best if you chill it in the freezer before running the experiment. So the first thing that you're going to do is cut up your pumpkin into some smaller pieces and put it in a blender. Uh, you can add a little bit of water to help it blend easier. Um, I just blended this right before starting this video. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a lysis solution. This solution is going to help break open those phospholipid bilayers that surround the cells and help us get that DNA out so we can see it. Uh, to make this solution, you're going to take half a cup of water one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of dish soap. Now you're going to stir this mixture until all the salt is dissolved. All right, next you're going to take two to three tablespoons of this solution that you just made and put it in a new jar. And then you're going to take one tablespoon of your pumpkin puree. Your measurements don't have to be super exact. you're going to stir up this mixture and you want it to get to a soup like consistency if it's still kind of pasty depending on how much water you added when you blended it um, you can add a little bit more of your lysis solution all right next you're going to get your final clean jar and whatever you're gonna be filtering with. I'm gonna be using cheesecloth. I'm going to secure the cheesecloth over the top of the jar with the rubber band. And then I'm going to carefully pour this solution over the filter and have it catch in the jar. We're just trying to filter out any of those solid pieces that might be remaining. So we're left with just a nice orangish liquid. Sometimes it takes a little while. All right. And if you have any problems with the filtering process or accidentally mess anything up and get some of the solids in there, you can just get a new filter and a new glass and put it right through again, it's no problem. So we're left with this orange liquid and we're gonna be taking our isopropyl alcohol and what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to pour about equal amounts of what's already in the jar in there. Um, and you're gonna do it nice and slow and controlled because we want those layers to stay separated. Um, and you can kind of pour it down the side at an angle as well, like this. Okay. So now you should see some distinct layers beginning to form, uh, but you can let it rest for a couple minutes and start cleaning up and come back in a few minutes and you should be able to see your DNA. Okay, so now that a couple of minutes have passed, you should be able to see two distinct layers and right where those layers meet, you might be able to see some kind of stringy white stuff. That is your pumpkin DNA. 
and if you would like to extract this and save it for later, you can take a toothpick and very carefully fish it out and you can actually store it in some of your leftover isopropyl alcohol to show your family or friends. And while this experiment did not involve the use of anything particularly dangerous, uh, I still advise that you have parental supervision and it's always a good idea to wear gloves and glasses or goggles just in case anything splashes and gets in your eyes or if any of the things that we are using uh, might irritate the skin on your hands. I will post a close up picture of the separated out DNA um, at the end of this video and I hope you enjoy the experiment and have a very happy Halloween. Thanks.